Hey guys, this is the next episode in the Video Archive VHS Collection series in which we cover all titles that start with the letter M. So, without further ado, let's get started. And the first one we have here is a classic 70s movie, Mad Max. Yeah, not much to this release. It was just, it's a good times issue from the early 90s as a budget title. Okay, the next one uh, we have is A Man Called Horse. The 34th week of 1999. Up next we have The Manchurian Candidate. And of course this is the remake, it's not the original. January 3rd, 2006. All right, this next movie, although starring um, a pretty well-known actor, the movie itself isn't very good. Man of the House. In fact, the only real reason why I have this tape is because it's a late release. It's one of those um, Sony Pictures home entertainment label titles. Otherwise, if this tape, say, came out in, like, 2003, I I don't think I would have bothered picking this up. The 33rd week of 2005. Okay, now we have a sci-fi classic and one of the sequels, although I don't have all three that came out on VHS in North America. We have The Matrix... May 21st, 2001. And then we have the the first sequel. I have yet to find a copy of the second one uh, on VHS. But I do have The Matrix Reloaded. Although, eventually I'll get better condition copies of these two. Although I'll likely try to find the um, widescreen release of the first one. Instead of a silk screen label, we have a sticker instead. September 20th, 2003. Speaking of Tommy Lee Jones, I have another tape here uh, starring the actor, although this is a more well-known and more beloved movie, Men in Black. And this is the, this copy was sold in the Avon catalog, as evident from the FSC number, if it'll focus. There we go. Speaking of widescreen releases, I believe this also had a widescreen release. Um, December 17th, 1997.
All right, this next tape, I picked it up because I had heard of the film and the box art looked kind of cheesy. Miami Blues. Yeah. Kind of interesting to show this tape right now is the movie co-stars Alec Baldwin. And of course, he's in some legal hot water at the moment. Uh, May 15th, 1995. And yes, this tape, if you haven't noticed, is recorded in EP mode. As it was a budget title when that tape was made. Okay, this tape here, and also another tape that's going to be shown in this video, is factory sealed. I plan to open this tape uh, in a future video as part of a, a holiday special. Mickey's Christmas Carol. I believe this tape was sold in the mid-90s, as it does have this rebate offer with an end date of January 1996. And as you can see, still has the security sticker uh, uncut, untampered with, so it's still brand new. However, this Christmas classic is open, so we can take a look at it. Miracle on 34th Street. The colorized version, which I'd say don't watch, but I do have it as it's still a curiosity. Uh, in a future video, I will show a THX remastered version from the late 90s that is in black and white. Yeah, it has printings on the bottom, although it doesn't really say much. Uh, the 41st week of 1993. Okay, the next one is a movie based on a video game, and usually most video game based movies are terrible, but this one is kind of okay. Mortal Kombat. And no, I don't have the sequel, as that sequel I don't believe deserves to be in my collection. So if you're hoping to see it, I'm sorry. April 20th, 1996. <clears throat> okay, here's the only Focus Features film I have on a standard VHS, although I do have a couple of D-Theater ones, which I'll show in a future video. The Motorcycle Diaries, which is a Spanish-language film. I believe the movie's 2004? Yeah, it's 2004. The third week of 2005. So kind of a late release here. Okay, here's a classic comedy featuring a classic actor. The Mouse That Roared. And as you can see, Peter Sellers plays three different characters in the movie. The 42nd week of 1995. Okay, this next one is a remake of a film that I believe came out in the 30s, or maybe the 40s. Mr. Deeds, which is a remake of Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. Although, most critics would agree the original is a far better movie than this one, but on its own merits, this film isn't that bad in my opinion. I think Adam Sandler has made far worse movies than this. Um, if the lighting will, focus will play. 35th week of 2002. All right, so then this next one we have here is The Mummy. Of course, it stars Brendan Fraser, who's just starting to get back into Hollywood as of late. So, great to see him return. I 
Blade is the third week of 2002. All right, this next tape here is also factory sealed like Mickey's Christmas Carol, and it's The Muppet Show featuring Mark Hamill, Paul Simon, and uh, Rockwell Welch. Fortunately, I hear a loose piece in the tape, but I'm sure it works fine, but I don't have plans to open this, at least not in the immediate future. Okay, the, and the final tape for this video it actually stars a pretty well-known actor, and it was also one of the movies that put Miramax on the map in the late 80s. My Left Foot. As you can see, this copy was sold in Canada originally. As I believe uh, Cineplex Odeon, I think, was a Canada-only label. Yeah, for some reason, it lists three different ratings. PG on the label, 14A, which is Canada's rating on the back, and then it lists the R rating, the American R rating on the front. So, I don't know what the real rating is. I believe it is R for North America, or for the United States, at least. All right, that'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys stick around for the subsequent episodes in the series, and I'll catch you guys later.